My name is Rob Myers. I was one of the founding faculty here at Perimeter. I've helped build the organization from the ground up. Uh, and in fact, I've served as the director of the institute. But I'm also a researcher here, a member of the Quantum Fields and Strings group. And my interests are in gravitational physics and quantum theory. And so I'm interested in working towards uh, a unified framework that's often known as quantum gravity. I um, was always interested in, in science very broadly. I, you know, at, in high school I took chemistry, biology, physics. Um, but as a youngster I was also very interested in uh, the space program and you know I'm old enough that I was growing up when they were sending people to the moon and, and that was all very exciting and of course then there was science fiction, there was Star Trek and, and all of these things. Um, but for my studies, I, I think at the end of the day, I, I went after physics because it was the biggest challenge. It was the hardest uh, one. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was just fun. So uh, that's about it. <laughs> well, often I find myself giving advice to um, students who are thinking about uh, starting a PhD in physics and the most important thing I think is that you find your passion uh, you know more glibly what I say is make sure that you're going to be having fun because you're going to devote many years many hours a lot of energy into you know understanding and researching a specific topic uh, and so you want to be sure that you know you're really passionate about that idea, about that field, uh, because that passion will carry you through all of those hours, all of that sweat, all of that hard work, uh, and you know, really that'll that'll bring you to the place where you know uh, that you're succeeding uh, in your field. Um, let's see, if I wanted to explain what I'm doing to uh, a person from the general public, um, I would start talking about, um, you know, where has physics brought us today? And there's really two key foundations. There's quantum theory, which is a theory that describes uh, physical phenomena at the very smallest scales, at the scale of atoms and even smaller. On the other hand, we have Einstein's general relativity. It's a beautiful, elegant, mathematical or geometric theory that describes gravity. And that's really, uh, you know, uh, a theory that describes phenomena or physical uh, processes at much larger scales. I mean, that's what's keeping me in my seat here. It's what uh, governs the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, you know, how galaxies form, how the cosmos, uh, you know, is expanding, how the universe evolves. And so we believe that there should be a single theoretical framework that should encompass both the quantum theory, which governs the small scales, and gravity or general relativity which governs you know astronomical or very large scales and you know that's really what uh, my career in science has been about to a large extent it's you know working towards that goal of unifying those two theories and that theory is something that we call quantum gravity but it's you know, one of the deepest or most challenging questions that theoretical physicists have faced you know, they've been struggling with this question for over 75 years now. Uh, and yet that's a, a question that, you know, I'm excited about and, and, you know, we see new ideas, new directions, new, new developments coming in uh, all the time. And so that's what keeps me going uh, in my research program. <laughs>